So we got some really sad news for those of us in the uh, in the movie world here in Seattle. The Harvard Exit, the beloved Harvard Exit, a, a building that's almost 100 years old and been a theater since 1969, is shutting down at the end of, uh, say, the holiday season, I think in January. Now, it's true that I did manage uh, the Harvard Exit Theater and I loved it. Uh, this would be in the, the uh, late 80s and early 90s. But to me, it's not about my own personal connection there as a manager, even though that was uh, uh, quite fun. The, the greatest thing for me and the sadness for me is that I grew up here in town and I remember when that theater opened in 69, 70, 71, it was like the premier place for anybody who loved movies in town. It was an art house, it had this kind of a counterculture feel and it was like the greatest it was just sort of the greatest atmosphere that you could possibly imagine for somebody who really valued film. They, they sort of created this, uh, the art house world. They would put, they had these big oaken tables and they would put big crocks of cheese for free and crackers and you had all the tea and a coffee that you want. You just sort of serve yourself. And the great thing about this theater is it's an old converted women's century club, which was uh, built, uh, they erected it in 1925. And so it has this huge lobby, this carpeted lobby with a grand piano and all these overstuffed chairs, a huge mantle over a, a giant fireplace. So it had this really kind of old roomy feel to it. And the fact that this place is now going away is really sad. And we don't know what's going to happen to it. You know, the Egyptian, another beloved place, uh, theater up on Capitol Hill here in Seattle, that also uh, was shut down. Well, SIF ended up buying it or at least leasing it from the college and refurbished it. Maybe there's a chance that somebody will actually try to buy it as a theater. But it's just hard to compete with these uh, tenplexes around. I don't know if it has a future as a movie theater, but those of us who have been there have very fond memories of it starting off. Uh, a guy named Jim Osteen was one of the original uh, theater owners. It was a, a fantastic place to hang out and watch movies, and it still was part of the uh, film festival for all these years. I saw a bunch of movies there during uh, May and June for the uh, Seattle Film Festival, so it'll be hard to imagine that that place isn't going to be a place where we can all go.